morning guys we're going to talk about the 3vz engine head gasket problems see a ton of these i'm sure you guys do too bad head gasket in the number six cylinder seems to almost always be the number six cylinder we're going to talk about why so here we go this is a new engine that just got replaced i'm going to show you an old engine too and what we do to fix it So here's an old core motor. This is how the exhaust works. Passenger side exhaust manifold flows out the back into the crossover tube around, and this is where it gets crappy. It dumps it facing forward in the driver side exhaust manifold. And then it's expected to make a 270 degree turn and cruise out the pipe. Well, I don't really like that. This is the number six cylinder. This is where they always blow a head gasket. This is a really hot spot. We've checked a lot of engine bays with the infrared thermometer and it's always really, really hot. Engines are already hot by nature at the rear cylinder. These ones are exceptionally hot on this side. So here's what we do. Let's look at the kit first. Here's the kit. This is a block plate for where the crossover used to land. There's the flange to connect where the crossover tube used to come off of the passenger side manifold. This flange cruises on there. It leaves enough room for the seal ring. You don't have to weld this. You can just put this in place and adjust it, tighten it down when you're done. Here's two other pieces. There's some clamps. We don't recommend using the clamps, but for some of you guys that don't weld or whatever you got going on, you can use these clamps permanent if you want. You can use them to hold everything in place until you can get down to the exhaust shop um, or to a buddy's house that can weld. You get three new nuts for that and three new nuts for that flange along with the seal washer for that flange. And here's what it looks like. The pipe to head up there and connect to that manifold. And then it's it crosses over. And it ties into the existing pipe. And it does that in front of the front oxygen sensor and the catalytic converter. So there's really no change in emissions or how the vehicle runs, except it's cooler. Sometimes, some of these do have a secondary transmission cooler. You will have to reroute that. This is where we put this one. A pretty simple deal. Those lines just go over the frame and mount to there. You know, that, that cooler mounts to the frame. That's pretty much it. If you come over here and look, you can see, if you look back that way, you can see that the, the pipe doesn't hang down. It's still up above the cross member. It's higher than the front cross member. It's about the same height as the sway bar. It's a little bit above the transmission cross member. It still leaves access on the automatic transmissions. You can still get to the drain bolt. 
you can still remove the transmission pan, you can get to the drive line. It really doesn't get in the way of anything. So that's it. That's the Yoda One 3VZ crossover delete kit. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. 